Hello everyone, my name is Colleen. Welcome to another Fountain Pen Friday. I had been doing a series on fountain pens. I know I got disrupted a little bit this summer, but I am bringing it back for Fountain Pen Friday. And today I'm starting with my newest Kaweco that I got in the All Sport. So it's the one with aluminum body. I know some of you have commented asking about the Twisby reviews. Those are coming. Um, I do have those all lined up as well, so um, we'll try to make sure to get all those posted every Friday coming up here through September and October. Um, but I thought I would start with this Kaweco since I was already doing a whole bunch of these. This is the new Iguana colorway. So the one where I purchased it from was from Goulet Pens. As you can see here with it, they sent me a sticker. I also ordered a, um, a little Coveco cartridge um, because I have found, I have two plastic Covecos that I did um, like ink dropper filled, but those were plastic. One of them is leaking a little bit. The green one has been fine, but my Bordeaux is leaking a bit. But since this is an aluminum body, you cannot dropper fill the aluminum body. So either you need to have a converter like this or you need to buy the little um, cartridges like these. Now they use various, um, there's like some generic cartridges you can use. You don't have to buy them from Kaviko. And this little thing is super, super tiny, but I haven't had any problems with the ones I have. They do run out of ink very quickly. I would say I probably do maybe one to two writing sessions and then I have to refill it. So I'm hoping that these last a little bit longer. Let me try to get one out here real quick. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. So you can see these ink cartridges by Coveco are quite a bit larger. So the other thing that I might consider doing in the future is just after using one of these, just refilling it with the ink of my choice as well and just reusing that cartridge. So that would be another option as well, something that holds a little bit more ink than this guy. Now, a reason why I do like these is when I do buy a new ink, say a sample ink, and I want to see if I like it or not, I can load it into this to see how the ink is coming out in my Kaweco instead of loading up all the ink and then having to use it all. So for that purpose, um, I have enjoyed using that. Now I did also buy the uh, vintage clip. Okay, so let's get to the pen itself. Oh, nice. So it says Coveco Collection Germany. Now to the hand, to the touch, this one is a little more, uh, it has a slight texture to it. I have the All, All Sport in Rose Gold and it's super, super slick. Um, this one is not slick. This one kind of has a texture to it that makes it easier to hold. The nib size on this one is F. So I got this one in a fine nib. So as you can see there, I got this one in the fine nib. It's an F. The other All Sport that I have is a medium nib. So I wanted to try the ink flow on the fine. It does come with an ink cartridge, which is usually a regular blue, but I ordered the Paradise Blue. So this is the one I'll be putting in it instead. For now, I'll just tuck this one in here. Just have to pay attention when I pull them out later. All right, okay, so what we're going to do now is I just very straight, I just take this, try to feel the center, and then just push.
push and don't move. Definitely don't pull it out. There will be, be ink everywhere. So I just push until I hear it pop. It may feel a little bit loose, but don't pull it out because the ink is coming. Is filling up. I'll see how I want to place my clip. Usually I like to have the little logo next to the actual words here. So you'll see there's an opening. I usually put the opening down and I put the clip on the top and then I usually stop it right where the words begin. So where Germany starts that's where I quit pushing it down. All right, let's see if we can get this ink flowing and do a test write. Oh, one thing what people had been asking, especially when they're buying them on Amazon and things, is they notice on the tin it says M for a medium nib. So all the tins are just standard. They don't change them out uh, per the type of nib that you have on your pen. So you don't have to worry if the tin says medium and you order a fine, you are going to get the fine nib. Okay, so here you're going to see samples of the others that I have already. I have the extra fine nib um, in the iridescent pearl. I am going to try it with another ink because I have heard that that Sailor Studio in an extra fine can feel a little drier, I guess, than other inks. So maybe I'll give that extra fine nib another shot by trying out maybe a juicier type of um, a juicier ink. This one is the medium nib in the Sherwood Green. Absolutely love it. This is the Bordeaux in the fine nib. This one is leaking on me at the moment, so I'm probably going to wash it out and um, start using a, a cartridge in it. Um, I do like the Diamine Oxblood, and I do believe that I can get that one in cartridges that would fit. So we'll see what we end up doing with that. So those are the uh, one, two, those are the three nib sizes that I have from Coveco. I know from the medium that I don't want to go any larger than that. Um, I also have the, this is on day two, just testing out that ink flow again. It was a little bit smoother on day two than it was day one. Still feels a little scratchy to me. Um, this is the olive and then the Bordeaux with the oxblood. Here is the medium nib in the other aluminum version that I have, the Allsport with rose gold. And you'll see it is pretty thick. So um, it's, it's a bigger, it's great for these types of inks that change colors, like this one goes from a purple to a blue. So for that, I really like that nib. But I, I love, uh, what I'm finding is that I do prefer the weight of these all sports and I'm going to guess I would probably also really like the weight of the brass so um, I'm kind of converting over to these I'm not buying any more plastic Kavecos um, I'm going to stick with these the metal versions either the all sport or you know I'll probably add the brass to my collection here soon as well Okay, so it, 
you can see how the wetness will streak if just writing and streaking immediately. But wow, I really love this nib. Again, this is the fine nib and it does great. I love how this one writes. It is very smooth. And again, I love the weight of the pen as well. Speaking about the weight, when we put it on the scale, it's at 23 grams. Again, take into account that this does have the ink cartridge inside of it. So with the ink installed, it's about 0.8 fluid ounces. It measures about four inches. And then when it's posted, it's almost five inches. Now in centimeters, that would be about 13 when, I'm sorry, millimeters, 13 when it's posted. And then when it is capped or closed, it measures just around 10 and a half. So I hope you enjoy the iguana as much as I do. I love the texture. I wasn't expecting that. Um, it has a really nice texture, easy to hold. I love the gold on the nib on this one. It's just a really nice contrast to this teal iguana color. So if you enjoyed as much as I do, please give this video a thumbs up. Today, my little travel clip, I'm taking you to Mindo, Ecuador. Enjoy.